Hello, welcome to Musher's Tales. It's a brisk one today. I just stepped outside. It's uh, minus, uh, well, close to minus 32 without the wind. So, uh, kind of day that uh, I don't think I'll be going dog sledding because uh, because I don't have to, and because it's cold, it's a bit hard. I find it's a bit hard on the lungs of the dogs and everything. Personal opinion. And uh, I don't have much fun uh, when it's that cold dog sledding. Touching the snaps with no gloves and everything, it's kind of rough. So uh, I'll just show you what it's like a bit when I tend to dogs, what you do a little bit extra when uh, it's this cold out. Believe it or not, uh, we are the 11th of January, 2022, and I just heard a crow. There's a crows haven't left here yet which I've never seen that before. Usually uh, you'll see them, they'll come back in the month of March, but by uh, sometime in December they're gone. And there's one con away right now. Very different. Means there's food, whatever, you know. If they're still here, it's because they have food. Look at a little frosty, eh? Look at a little frosty. Hey, Safi. Hey, cut it out, Tub. Just cut out. You want your crazy dogs? This is uh, weather where uh, Siberians and their fur. Good dog. Hey, Siberians and their fur. What's up with you? You look a little frozen. Hey, you look a little frozen. What would you call a little frozen? Yeah, they don't like the camera pointing at it. Everybody's a little frosted up. Looks like I'm frosting up a bit too. Back to the scoop. One thing I like to do uh, when it's cold for the dogs is give them a bit of fat. So right here I have some uh, chicken fat. So. Uh, Cut up a bit of this, give them all a little hunk, size of a golf ball, and a little thing of quick energy. So, a little warm up, a little chunk like this. And uh, the dogs, the dogs, excuse me, the birds, they like that too because they'll come and they'll be picking up and cleaning up around. Definitely on a cool side. Like cool enough that my gloves are going on. Yeah. Put the mitts back on. Problem with big mitts like this is that uh, manual dexterity. You can't. Uh, you can't do anything.
just isn't going very well. Yeah, it's uh, there must be a little bit more water mixed in than usual because it's shattering. Usually it cuts like frozen butter. Not today. Today it's breaking like glass. So. Uh, one time I uh, had a dog, bought a 10 year old Chessie, and uh, she got into the bag of fat. I don't really know how it happened, but anyways, she got into the bag of fat and she, she went to town. She ate all kinds of it. And uh, she got real sick and wouldn't eat anymore. And uh, she was in rough shape. It's like she was pretty well dying. So I took her to the vet. We, you know, we didn't always have a vet in town here, but uh, we do now. And the vet examined her and said, uh, basically over, overdose of the, I think it was the endocrine gland or something. Anyways, I said the dog's dying, should put the dog down. And I refused. I said, no one's putting that dog down but me. And uh, took her back home and uh, got her eating again. And uh, next day, the, uh, the vet called and said, asked me if I changed my mind to put her down. And I said, actually, I said, no. Uh, I said, the dog's actually doing better. Dog ate. Dog had a, a bowel movement and uh, she's on the upswing. And I had that dog for uh, another three or four more years. Dog was fine. She just, you know, she basically had a liver attack because she ate too much fat. So, uh, and I figured she ate a couple of pounds. So, I don't know if the dog was quite 15 or close to 15 when I had to put her down because her, her hips let go. And when, when her hips let go, she was like spread eagle on the floor. And many dogs, when they get older, that happens. But you can pick them up again and they're fine, you know, and just till next time. <laughs> but uh, she was, she, when her shoes, she was snapping and you had to actually slip something underneath her to pick her back on her feet. And when her, her hips let go and she fell, well, she was, she was in a lot of pain. So that's a game changer. When you're talking about putting a dog down, it's always better to be a couple of weeks early than a couple hours late. Because uh, that's just the way it is. Better to put them down a little bit early than put them down a little bit late. So we probably have a bit too much, but uh, big dog will get a big chunk and little dog get a little chunk. Ash isn't going to get any because I don't know what my wife fed him, but I saw he was eating in a special bowl, so he already got his little booster. Good chunk for him. And... Oh, 
They eat it, but they don't wolf it down like they do the meat. You see, they nibble at it more. A couple of guys are getting good chunks. Here. Here's a big one for you. Yeah, there's two left here. I'll save the big chunks. I'll look at the sled. I got all kinds here. Here you go. That's enough for you. And another one for you. You didn't get much. And we save the rest. It's not a question of uh, saving it, it's a question of not wanting to give them too much because it's pure fat, but when it's 30 some below. They say uh, with the wind chill, let's say it's 38, but uh, right here I don't feel any wind really. So I don't think I'm feeling that, but it's definitely on the brisk side. Got both wood stoves going, so the house is toastier and I'll get out. Toaster in my nose, which seems to be turning a little white now. And uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, that's it for this video. I don't like the color of my nose, so. Uh, Gonna go and warm up a bit, so thanks for watching, till the next time.